Today, I've got another interesting problem from TBO's problem solving booklet. It contains a bunch of problems, um, pr you know, ideal for students who are looking to prepare for Oxford and Cambridge maths interviews. Here's the one we're going to be solving today. We want to use algebraic techniques to determine whether the following equation has any real solutions. It's x to the 4 plus 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. Interesting. It's a quartic equation. Um, we're not expected to know the formula to solve a quartic. Um, there is a formula out there. I don't know what it is, it, um, but we're not expected to know it. And that's probably not the way we want to approach this. Um, what else could we try? We could maybe just try and plug in some values of x and see if we get zero. Um, but we're going to struggle here because if there are any integer solutions to this, because of the, the fact that this number here is one, uh, any integer solution to this must be a factor of one. That's only one or minus one. And you can just try both of those. Neither of those will give you zero. OK, so there's no integer roots. There may be some rational roots or some some nicer roots. Maybe there aren't any nice uh, rational roots. Maybe there are some real roots which are irrational. How do we find those? Well, we don't necessarily need to find them. We just need to see if there any exist. And maybe you can try and plug in various values of x and try and use the intermediate value theorem to help you. If you can plug in one value of x, and this is negative, plug in some other value of x, and it's positive, then you know between those two values, there must be some value of x where this function equals zero, because it's continuous. Hmm. But one thing you may also notice is that this quartic has something very interesting happening with the coefficients. It's kind of symmetric. The coefficient of x to the 4 is the same as the constant term. The coefficient of x cubed is the same as the linear term. And the term in the middle is just by itself. It doesn't have a partner. OK, and it does go 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, but it turns out that that's actually not important. If you've seen any of the maths admissions tests, so the Oxford math, um, one of the recent papers had a very similar problem to this. And we're going to use that technique here. Uh, what we're going to do is divide this equation by x squared which we're more than entitled to do here, because clearly x is not zero, because if it was zero, then the left-hand side would equal one, not zero. So let's divide by x squared, and we get x squared plus 2x plus 3 plus 2 over x plus 1 over x squared equals zero, like so. And now the trick to this is finding a relationship between x plus 1 over x and this equation here. So let me call this alpha for the time being. So alpha is going to be x plus 1 over x. Then what is alpha to the power of 2? Well, it's going to be x squared plus 2 lots of x times 1 over x, which is just 1, plus 1 over x squared, like so. And this is really nice because we've got an x squared plus 1 over x squared here, and we've got an 2x plus 2 over x here. So we can write this equation purely in terms of alpha. The x squared plus 1 over x squared is just going to be alpha squared minus 2. And then 2x plus 2 over x is going to be plus 2 alpha. So this equation actually just boils down to being a quadratic in terms of alpha. We get alpha squared plus 2 alpha plus 1 equals 0. And so this tells us that alpha plus 1 squared is 0. And so alpha equals minus 1. This is really cool. What have we just demonstrated? We've demonstrated that if there are any solutions to this equation, x, then firstly, it won't be 0. And then by defining alpha to be x plus 1 over x, we get that alpha has to be minus 1. But if we just look at this here, x plus 1 over x equals minus 1. If we multiply through by x and rearrange, we get x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. This is a quadratic, but if we look at its discriminant, it's b squared minus 4ac, so minus 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1, which is minus 3, which is a negative number. And so therefore, this has no real solutions for x, and therefore no real solutions to this original quartic here. A really interesting solution, which does not require us to use or to know anything about the quartic formula, um, or even a cubic formula, just using the quadratic formula, which you are expected to know. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting and a pretty interesting technique. And the reason this works is because of the symmetry of the coefficients here. 
Um, yeah, do let me know if you have any other solutions in the comments down below. But thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.